Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install FSR 3.0 frame generation mod on Marvel Spider-Man Remastered on Steam Deck Steam OS because I think a lot of viewers are having issues with this. I've been getting comments saying that after they install the mod, the game crashes, it can't boot up, stuff like that. So let me show you how it's done. But let me tell you first that this isn't a free mod. It's currently in beta and the creator, Luke FC, you have to join his Patreon in order to download this. I'll leave a link in the description. I already have it, so I'll show you what it's like. And if you like what you see, you can head over there. And before we get started, I'd like to let you guys know that I have a channel, a secondary channel called Growing Up Cooking. It's brand new. I only have one video up right now. Other than gaming, cooking is also a passion of mine. So in 2024, I'm going to start building that channel. I'm going to do some cooking videos, doing cooking recipes, you know, just have some fun. So if you like gaming, you like eating and you want to support me, go over there and subscribe to that channel. I'll give you some footage of my first video, the lobster recipe one. So here it is. Alright, we're gonna kill it. You ready? Oh my god. So did you enjoy that? If you want to see the full video, head over to Grown Up Cooking. I'll leave a link in the description and make sure you subscribe to that channel to get more of that. All right, so back to the game. First, what you need to do is you need to locate your game's um, folder. So here's my folder, uh, Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. And this is the root of the, of the game folder where the Spider-Man EXE is. All right, so here it is. And I've got my mods ready. All right, so these look FC mods. I'm going to be using the latest version, 0.7.2 beta. All right, and I'm going to use the SDK zip. All right, there's a, there's different versions inside, but I'm going to use the SDK.zip because um, if you notice that the game folder, inside the game folder, I have this. So the FFX FSR2 API x64.dll. So I remember in the previous versions, um, for the mod, they did say that if you have this file, you need to use the SDK version. I'm not sure if it's still applicable for the latest version, but uh, yeah, I'm just using this one anyway. So open the zip, all right, drag all those files in the zip to the root of your game. So where the Spider-Man EXE is, apply to all and override. I'm just going to override it because I already have it. For you, if it's the first time, I don't think you need to override anything. And there's also one more file you need. All right, so inside the mod, there's also a zip file called enable proxy, all right? So this just tricks the system thinking that you've got an NVIDIA CPU. Uh, no, not CPU, NVIDIA GPU, all right? Because if you're on the Steam Deck, obviously you don't have an NVIDIA GPU, all right? It, this tricks it to think that you have. That's uh, how you can enable DLSS because uh, once the mod is activated, you have to select DLSS and that's actually FSR 3, all right? So that's done and we're all done. And then go to your game on your Steam and go to properties and make sure you have this launch command, launch options here. So win, uh, wine DOL overrides, win MM. All right. So this is the one that you need. I'll put this uh, code in the description. So if you want to copy that, all right, this just makes, uh, launches the mod because the mod, the DOL, it's called WinMM. It needs to activate this mod. So that's why you need to put this in the launch options. I'll put it in the description. You can copy that and then we can play the game. And if it's successful, you should be able to get this mod window like this. Yep, this one. All right. So that means that mod is kicked in, working, and you get this launcher uh, opened. Go to settings and you can see here upscale method. You've got DOSS super resolution. Without the mod, you don't have this because um, you know it's it's Steam Deck. You only you only got AMD FSR 2.1. So select DLSS Super Resolution, and here's where most people mess up. All right, that's what they do, and then like they just leave it. All right, and they click OK and they play the game. Let me show you how people mess up. I messed this up too. Like I got this error. So you're booting the game and it doesn't boot up, and then you get this error crash. Let's wait for it. All right, you get this, all right? So how do you fix that? It's actually not that hard. So boot the game back up. Boot the game back up. Go to settings. All right. 
make sure you have the window mode. By default, it should be full screen. That's why everyone messes up here. Just select windowed or exclusive full screen. All right, I'm going to select windowed. All right, that's, that's what makes it work. And then I'm just going to tick this, DLSS frame generation. I don't think it works. Uh, in game, it's grayed out, but I'm just going to tick it here anyway. But uh, you don't have to. It's, uh, it's optional. I don't think it does anything. It's just me. So let me click play. All right, so now it's, I'm on windowed mode. Let's see if the game works. Yeah, see? See, the game works now. All right, so that's how it's done. Let me go into game mode and show you the game in action. I think you want to see some gameplay. So I'll see you in gaming mode. Okay, welcome back to my Steam Deck's gaming mode. All right, let's boot up the game because we've already done all the settings in desktop mode. So there's not much to do. Just boot up the game. And yeah, get through all these warning messages. Okay, we get some flickering at the start, but that's okay. Only at the start. Then go into settings. I'm going to go to display and graphics. I'm going to change the window mode to windowed. V-Sync off. All right, you can see here, DLSS frame generation. It's grayed out. So yeah, just leave it. Upscale method, DLSS super resolution. I'm going to use quality and then dynamic resolution scaling off. Apply changes, okay. All right, and then graphics. I'm going to set the preset to high and I'm going to disable motion blur. Motion blur and film grain strength. I'm going to disable that. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. All right, let's boot into the game. And um, I've got Cryo Utilities on recommended settings, four gigabytes of VRAM. So I've changed it to four gigabytes. By default, it's one gigabyte. All right. And then um, all right, on my Steam Deck, on the performance tab, yeah, um, I've just got disabled frame limit enabled. All right. And then everything else is disabled. On um, power tools, I've got SMT enabled, eight threads, and governor performance. So that's my settings. All right, let's check out the gameplay. All right, it's super, super smooth. Good. Really, really good. So if I go here where there's more people, you can take a look. So this game runs well without this mod. So FSR 2.1 is, is, is good. It's fine for this game on the Steam Deck. But, um, you know, just to have this is pretty cool. Uh, but there is some flickering in the UI. I'm not sure if that can be fixed. Some some people tell me it can't be fixed. Like it's in the game level. So you, you need to, you know, mods can't fix that. You need to be inside the game to fix it. So you probably need official releases of FSR 3, like official support. But um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. But, uh, so I think there's more of a like proof of concept. This mod, like you, you know, what's in the future, what what games can be like, and you know, I love this technology. Like the Steam Deck is showing a little bit of age. Um, you know, running tr some triple A games, it's kind of tougher now. You know, there's p more powerful systems out there, like the Rogue Ally or the uh, Lenovo Legion Go. But um, yeah, those are Windows platforms. Uh, you know, I kind of like the Steam Deck with the Steam OS. I really like messing around with the Steam OS. And Windows has its own problems. Like I know you can't um, sleep resume. That's something I really like on the Steam Deck. Sleep resume. Like I think that's the def default. Like it's like your your phone, right? It's like your iPad stuff like that. Like sleep resume is like a default now. So yeah, I'm hoping Windows um, gaming PCs they'll get that function done soon. But other than that, yeah, this is like really fun. Just swinging around. New York City and you know seeing all the NPCs here look yeah game runs really really smooth with FSR 3.0 frame generation mod so yeah I'll just leave it here I think you've seen enough um, if this video helped you out let me know in the comments please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one later